Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more EU4 more I know Strum playing as the Italian Commonwealth now with France. All of it. All of it! We are missing one territory that was not actually owned by France. Baroy. If we can take Baroy, annex Liberia. We'll have to create a new client state in order to deal with the overextension, but annex them. Take over London, take over Yorkshire. That's it. That's Rome. So dang close. We are probably about 12 to 15 years out from being able to create Rome, which probably means about mm, five or six videos, four or five. I don't know, somewhere around there. Okay, first things first, though, we do need to create a, um, a new uh, client state because I am grossly overextended. So we'll create one in Maine, I guess. Eh, Maine should be fine. And we'd call it Loire, because that is the state, or the region that they are in. I was thinking about creating Brittany, but I'm not sure I'm going to be allowed to, because Brittany technically is a nation, so. Create a client state. I'm not going to call it Maine. Loire. Local dynasty. Done. Now I'm going to make call you light blue, periwinkle blue. Do I like this horse icon? That's St. George slaying the dragon, isn't it? I don't want that. Eh, dancing bear. No. That's kind of cool. No. No. No, no. No, no. Come on, give me something cool. More St. George. That actually looked a little bit like the Gallic flag for a second there. Um... I don't like any of these. They all kind of suck. I could create my own, you know, just manually, but it'll take a while. Ooh, that was very Day of the Dead. This looks kind of nice. It's, I think, the reformed symbol, but we're going to go for it anyway. So that's going to be Loire. Okay. So we'll hand off Anjou. I know I'm emphasizing that a little bit wrong there, but okay. Anjou will be handed off. Nantes. Armour. Morbihan? 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 Morbihan. Uh, Finis... Oh, it's the other direction accent. I don't remember how to pronounce that one. If you're going to have an E with a, little, with a little accent on it, don't have one that faces right and one that faces left and then have totally different sounds for it. That's just, che that's just cheating. It's playing dirty, yo. Alright, I'm going to hand off Normandy. Alenco. And is that all we want for now? How are we looking as far as our overextension? 128%. Okay, we'll hand off Poito. We'll hand off Olione. Uh, 114. Okay. Um, we'll hand off Berry. This is not my core, right? No. Berry is actually a nation. I didn't even realize that. Ah, uh, 101%. Can we handle that? I think we can handle that. I'm keeping it. Core, 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 core. Ah, oh, I'm out of power. Well, this is a fine pickle. I could cancel, like, limousine and hand that off. I would fix both. Oh, fine, it's the smarter play. I didn't want to do it, but... Uh. Suck. Hand that off. There we go. And Corparis. Still need a bit more power. But all in all, that's pretty dang good. Go to Paris. Go to Artois. Go to Picardy. I don't know what I'm going to do with you yet. Go somewhere safe for now. We have another bunch of troops on the way home. Um... These troops here don't need to be here anymore. We're going to have a lot of unrest in France for a while is basically what it comes down to. But okay. All in all, not half bad. Not half bad! I'm so cool! I am a god! Friggin' little tiny little Venice! And look what I've created in EU4. Why is Italy down here? I think the name would make more sense to be like stretched across like this. But it keeps favoring the Saudi Arabian Peninsula for some reason. I don't know why, but they do. Merchants are suffering. Oh, no. 
They should have stayed home. Sure, Loire. Sure, Bohemia. Okay. I could get some more military tech. How's our reduction looking? Not even 1% yet. Eh. I think I'll just take it anyway. Infantry fire value and supply limit plus 50% is pretty darn good. Why the bayonet increases supply limit, I don't know. Also, I would think the bayonet increases shock value, not fire value, personally. But what do I know? Let's go ahead and take the military tech. Do I also want to take the Diplo tech? I am generating eight per month right now. I can afford to take it and I won't run out. May agitate for liberty. Navy morale, Navy maintenance. I don't necessarily need it. But it also would reduce corruption. All right, we'll grab it. There we go. All right, pull away from Flanders. Actually, pull away from Liège. We'll try to get back in there with Flanders. Maybe I want some claims here, you never know. I might want to connect up my territory. Did you ever think of that? Hey people, would you please join a coalition against me and have Bar join? No reason. Just think it could be fun. Land force limit modifier, we're really close to getting a discipline buff. As well as recovering our, our morale faster. The discipline will be very good for us. Offensive plus modern, uh, innovative leads to modern siege weapons, which is great. Very, very solid, actually. Love having that extra siege ability. You'll notice how fast we were able to take down France, because I did have an extra 20% siege ability. It was so good. So OP. Don't you know. Okay. We're losing money because I'm having to pay to uh, reduce my corruption. A lot, actually. And that's mostly due to overextension. Norway exists. Hello, Norway. You have some islands that I want. I'm thinking about it. Hey, Danzig took over Denmark. That's why they exist. I could take these little islands over here, at the very least. That could be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need it. <sighs> nah, we'll hold off. It's not It's not actually... It's, it's for fun, but it actually doesn't accomplish anything for me. Danzig is so much more powerful than usual this game. I like it. Good for them. Alright. 73.7. Let's take a look at something. 2,310 Diplo power spent. I'm only spending three per month right now. That'll change once I get some Diplo rep back. What's my mission right now? You know, let's cancel the mission and cycle it. Maybe I'll get it back to fight Portugal later, but let's see if we can get a reduce our overextension mission. And French La Plata once again is trying to declare independence, and this time I suspect they will in fact get it. Which means we'll probably see, like, what, Argentina? Well, maybe maybe Argentina. Argentina and Peru form. Is Argentina actually technically a formable nation? I don't remember. The Galapagos Islands. Hmm. But we own the Falklands, so... <laughs> okay. The Caribbean might form. Or Cuba. I don't know yet. A few things that could still happen. Uh, let's go ahead and begin another core on Picardy. Do Paris, Picardy, and Vermandoy all have the exact uh, same development? No, they don't. Is it capped at 75? Is that how this works now? Why are all three costing 75? They clearly have different levels of development. It even says that right here. I actually don't know. That might be a mechanic in the game that I was not aware about. Look, this is the first time, all right, that I have actually played EU4 long enough to get to the point where I get to use the Imperialism CB. First time I've ever done this. Certainly on this channel, but this is like my third ever campaign of EU4. Oh, great. They want me to fight Sweden now. Also Bremen and Klevs and Luba and Congo. You know what? We'll accept. And here's why I'm going to accept. One, Muscovy. Two, if I get into a war... Maybe all the other neighbors will say, Ooh, now is the time to form a coalition, and then I'll pounce on him. If Baroy joins. 
Yeah. Also, whoo, also thought, did Bohemia join? Hey, uh, Muscovy, you gonna call in Bohemia? Please call in Bohemia. If you call in Bohemia, I'll separate peace out. And then I can kill Baroy and maybe Bohemia won't join. Sneaky, sneaky. Who may I fight war with? Klebs. Uh, also, can you get Bohemia to join just because, like, I am i don't want to have to get that much military access? No? You're not going to call him in? Uh -huh. <sighs> I'm looking for any possible angle to take Baroy without wrecking my relationship with Bohemia. It's proving rather difficult. Needless to say. Hmm. How's unrest? It's pretty bad. I don't care about being in the grasslands or the farmlands, though. Let's get an army down here. And an army over here. Pretty good otherwise. Where's my, um... These armies did arrive. Good. Get up here. Everyone! Get in here! Sorry. Hearthstone reference. Haven't played that game in a while. Probably should, honestly. I've heard that uh, the Whispers of the Old Gods expansion is pretty good. Fabricate claim on Vlanderin. Sure. Now we have a claim. Make it cheaper. Do 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 do. Ah, if only Bohemia would not defend. Now that said, thoughts. So. How can I finagle this? I have an idea. Hang on. Processing, processing, processing. Okay. So, if I'm in the war with Muscovy, and I declare a war, Bohemia has to defend, they're co-belligerized, they can't call in Muscovy, because I'm already in a war with Muscovy. Right? Pretty sure. So, that might be an idea... When I do want to take Baroy, find something that I can call Muscovy in on if I have to fight Bohemia. Might not be a bad idea. We need to get a general in charge up here. I only have one general? Oh, I don't want to have to lose the discipline, like slow down my discipline bonus for the uh, offensive ideas, but I need some generals. Um, okay, they're acceptable. Acceptable outcome. And that's an Abathur re reference. Which I think I've actually joked about before, so I feel kind of ashamed that I said it again. Alright, let's go ahead and start moving some troops. Where are you going? Let's see if we can catch him in Neva. It's grasslands, they're gonna have to siege it down for a bit. Let's push. I'm gonna crush Sweden real quick. Stack wipe! <laughs> it's just too easy now. It's too freaking easy! Okay, go to Stockholm. Go to Dallas Gogan. Go here. Go here. I have another army somewhere. Which one's not moving? This one. Go here. We'll siege down Sweden for you, don't you worry. We'll do it. We'll get it. Um, in case you're interested in this information, Muscovy? Oh, I can't... No. A war ally has already claimed Gotland, apparently. How did you claim it? You can't have claimed it. No. Commonwealth wants it. Well, I don't care what the Commonwealth wants. I'm their overlord. That shouldn't stop me from saying, hey, I want this province. And yet, somehow it does. So what do I know? Let's go ahead and dock up in uh, Lisboa. For good measure. Okay, we'll pull away from Bohem uh, Muscovy there. Quality of our troops is impressive. I most certainly would agree with you on that point. Bohemia adores me. It's kind of a shame that uh, I can't uh, get around that war, though. You're going to have to let me take some more HRE territory, Bohemia. I know you don't want to, but you're going to have to. I just want you to understand that. All right. Um, what am I trying to do? Commonwealth. I was trying to do this earlier and I got distracted. Annexation. All right. So 2,310. Minus one... Well, actually, hang on. 10% reduction. 
right? So 0 0.9 times 23.10. So once we get to 2079, we can pass the policy and we'll instantly integrate the Commonwealth. Minus 1743, that's 336. Divide that by what is currently just 3 per month. In 112 months, we would be able to fully integrate the Commonwealth, which is in 9.3 years. So I'm, I, can, I, I can try, I can try to time it so that I'm annexing Iberia and Loire at the right time. So I pass the policy and instantly integrate all of them without getting the annexed subjects. That said, do I still have that modifier? I probably do. Yes, and that's until 1751. Colony was taken. Oh, French La Plata took France's colony. Okay. Anti-clericalism. The burghers of several prominent cities are accusing the clergy of being greedy and indolent. The pious commoners are now withholding the tithe in a protest against the particularly bad example of misuse of the authority of the clergy. Pious burghers are now objecting to paying tithes to the clergy as they consider the clergy unfit to receive them. The clergy are furious and demand that we find the obstinate burghers. They're both equally loyal to me right now. I would lose a lot. Lose some local autonomy in Genoa. Clergy loses influence, burgers gain influence. Maybe. Or the clergy loses loyalty and influence. So, make the clergy happy and the burgers unhappy. Force them to pay up. Grab that. Burgers. Grant monopoly charters. There. Problem solved. Seek support of the clergy. Let's buff that up. How long until I can get this? Two years until I can get some more power from you. I can demand power from you now, which is a shame that you don't have more influence to be worth more to me. Reduce overextension. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Now I can get some um, diplomatic reputation back. Advisor died, huh? Alright, we'll go for the Discipline guy. Discipline is really, really good. My armies are on the way, Muscovy. Commonwealth's already here. I'm a coming, wait for me! She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. The Italians will be coming round the Scandinavian mountains when they come. England's is white peace with Malacca. Again, that is twice you guys have fought a war that's total waste of time. Stop it. Don't do that. Just don't. Just don't do that. Alright, I'm going to split these guys up. Get some larger armies over there. Brunei entered into a military alliance with England. I guess I won't be able to fight Brunei again for a little while, but that's fine. Alright, England has announced Mali as a rival. France went bankrupt again. That's twice now. Sucks to be them. Um, can we move on a fort? Nope. Can we go anywhere? Nope. Can we switch these guys around? Yep. There you go. Put the siege general in charge. Certainly a better choice. My wife is just now getting home from work. If you hear any sounds, that will be it. Hello? I'm recording. How are you? Oh no. Don't have a headache. Drink some water and take some aspirin or something. Was work alright? I mean, take your time. I mean, I'm, I'm just recording right now. Just take as long as you want. It's fine. I'll just have an awkward pile of... This is going to be the weirdest video ever. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm glad it was okay. I'm going to go ahead and lose that stability and just spend my uh, influence. I don't want to lose the army tradition. 20 army traditions a lot, man. Okay. Yeah, well, anyway. Get a little bit of a look into uh, the life of Probus. Oh, hey, Yali. Come here. Hang on. I'm just going to come here for a second. So, you remember how I did a vlog a while back? Yeah. One of the questions was when people are going to get to see you. Oh my gosh. Are you going to ever let them do that? Mm, maybe. Maybe next time you do a vlog. Next time I do a vlog? Yeah. Okay, you guys heard it here first. She's now held to it. We're going to do that. <laughs> okay, thank you. You can go get uh, get ready now. That's, yeah, there we go. Ha ah. uh, I love that woman. Being married is fun. It is. It's challenging. Don't get me wrong. Anyone who tells you that marriage is easy is lying. They have no idea what it means to be married. But it is totally worth it, in my opinion. One of the best things I ever did. Yep. 
I forgot to get a core. For a long time, I forgot to get a core. I'm a dummy. Alright, well, on that note, I think I am going to end this video. Thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.